the Rucker Coles 682 probe station. I have it currently off. Comes in a micro zoom uh, Boston low microscope. Two objectives. Requires but does does not come with a vacuum source. Uh, if it's currently in the off position. The power light is here. Your different modes of operation and directional keys are here. I'm going to turn it on. It's going to go through its initialization process and then stop. Once it's gone through that, I, I think you should hit the home key to give it its starting position. And from there, you can go into your program, which I've already entered a program. So uh, to do that, I, you hit mem start. And it will, this is, I'm in the uh, manual run, local run mode. So I'm going to hit mem start because the program's already in there. And it's going to go to that first position. And then every time I hit the key, it's going to go to another position that I programmed into. It'll reach the end of this row and go down, and then start going to the left. This is a semi-automatic machine, so it will go only when you press the key. It is not automatic. Now you might be wondering why it's not moving here. This is set and has two modes of operation, separate and contact. So you can either manually contact, so when it moves into position, you can then hit contact. And as you can see, this lowered, which would lower your probe's uh, conduits onto the uh, wafer. And when you let go, it goes up. Or you can put it into contact here It'll always be in contact, and then as you move from position to position, it will raise and then lower when it reaches the new position. So I'm going to go back into the opposite mode. Your chuck vacuum on and off is here. The illuminator for the microscope is this assembly here. It is separate from this unit. The control box for that is here and you can do three different intensities or off. Your height adjustment for this is located here. Your microscope controls, focusing controls are here. And these are very slight X and Y movements of the microscope to fine tune it if you need to. And you have your different program modes here. So when you're in the jog mode, you can move this uh, uh, stage around and it'll move rapidly. Uh, it'll also move when it's in the jog mode according to the settings that you have on the XY axes. So you need to uh, make sure that that is adjusted to the wafer size and the uh, size between your samples, what you're looking at. And then if you wanted to program, you could just go to program. You can go to load or clear here. So since we're in the program mode, it's going to clear out the current program. I'm going to hit home, and then I'm going to go to the position that I want, and I'm going to hit mem, and then I'm going to move to my next position that I want, and hit mem again. I'm going to go to the next position and hit mem again. At this point, I've entered a three-step program. I'm going to go back to run mode hit home and you can see it's 
going to the first one, second one, and third one. More programming instructions are included in the manual. This will be coming with a manual that's for the um, 680 series. Um, your XY adjustments are digit switches that are located up here, and you can adjust them as need be, and you can do this in either English or metric. Uh, the manual also has instructions for that. Over here is your vacuum connection. It's a quick disconnect for a quarter inch line. And on this side, main power, fuse, power in. And you can hook up the illuminator to here. And again, you'll notice it has an off, an on, and an auto. And the auto is not installed on this particular machine. So if you were to put it off or on, it would turn electricity on or off to the illuminator from this outlet.